this Lamar Jackson, Jaden Daniels matchup on Sunday will be one for the ages. Let's talk about it. I'm going to talk about why things we want the best matchups. Night is a week six, but probably the whole NFL season. And it'll be something that we look forward to the next four years every time we play the Raiders. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the PSN Command. That was your boy Tom. Okay, Tech, I'm back on a real fight. I guess we're going to golf. I'll golf now. I'll golf at the doors. In pay with all three of them. Pretty much today's video. Here about the Washington Commanders. If I get too far into it, however, um, quick verse of the days. I'm going to just give out a, a general one. This is uh, Philippians 4.13. Um, I can do all things through Christ who Christ restricts me. I know what that one means. If you already anything about the Bible, you know about that one. Let's get right into it. So, Washington Commanders are playing the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I had a meetup set up, um, but you guys can still come up to Proper 21K. Unfortunately, I will not be there until about 3 o'clock-ish. Um, I do have to work tomorrow. So, uh, I, have to work, I have to work tomorrow. So, um, that'd be kind of tough. I must have come down with something, so I might not even make it. So, um, I'll give you guys updates so let you know how I'm feeling. But right now, I'm going to kind of come down with something. Um, it's a cold, I don't know what the hell it is, but um, I'm starting to feel it on my spirit and also um, in my nasal passages. <laughs> so, <clears throat> might have a slight call for me during the video. I'm going to let you guys know. Let's get right into it. So, uh, this is going to be a huge matchup between two mobile quarterbacks uh, this week. Lamar Jackson versus Jaden Day. You have the veteran in Lamar Jackson, who's won multiple MVP awards. Who has played in conference championship games? Uh, he is phenomenal. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. I'm um, definitely top ten, bare minimum. I would say top five or six in the league. Uh, more towards the the middle of that top five, maybe four or five or something like that in the league. And then you got Jaden Daniels, an upstart rookie, who's have um who's had a heck of a rookie season so far. Four Pepsi Zero Sugar uh, Rookie of the Weeks. NFL Offensive Player of the Week, uh, and, uh, NFC Rookie of the Month. Uh, also, he's had the NV, MVP, the Nickelodeon Bible Player. Uh, that, that that too. <laughs> he's had everything. <laughs> um, he's done. He's he's been phenomenal. Uh, eight total touchdowns, two interceptions, <clears throat> about thirteen hundred total scrimmage yards in five games. Very reminiscent of, of Robert Griffin III in 2012. Uh, but the difference between these two guys is that um, this kid is actually processing information and actually attacking defense. That's why Robert Griffin III is a little bit more one read based um, at that time. So this is this is this one of them for the age, man. You got the upstar rookie, um, and we got the veteran who's done it, been there, done that. And uh, a lot of Lamar, Jaden comparisons. Um, I want to compare Jaden to no one. Jaden Daniels is Jaden Daniels. He's just a different character. He's a different cat. I love that he gives glory to Christ when it comes to Jaden. I love the fact that he's very humble and wants to just get better every single day. He knows he's not he not he's not where he wants to be yet, so he keeps grinding. I'm um, saying with Lamar. Lamar keeps grinding as well. He's won two MVPs and still uh, wants to work on his game. And that and, and these two. What I love about these two. These two. Guys are phenomenal with their work ethic, with their um, dedication to the game, their dedication to their Lord and Savior. Um, them two in CJ Stroud, my favorite, my favorite quarterback in the league. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a big, I'm a big Lamar Jackson fan. I think he's a hell, hell of a talent. Um, he's not a better pro of the football than I want him to be, but he's also, um, he's gotten a lot better. Um, the anticipation is there a lot better. The reading defenses and analyzing things in front of him has gotten a lot better. The arm talent has always been there. Uh, he's getting a lot more accurate as well. And um, he's not just targeting one dude. He's not just, just spamming Mark Andrews. <laughs> he's actually getting the ball to other dudes, tied to Isaiah Likely. Uh, Mark Andrews having a down season, but nonetheless, he's getting the ball to Isaiah Likely, uh, Rashad Bateman, 
uh, guys like that. Uh, Zay Flowers. So um, he's been pretty good. He's been taking his check downs too. So uh, Lamar's been phenomenal. Uh, Lamar, when he threw that touchdown pass out there, likely last week, you couldn't make a better play than that. That's incredible. Those are that. Those were one of those ones would do for you. And that's why we have a Jaden Daniels. Very similar play. Um, scramble to the right. Find Terry McLaurin, 65 yards down the field. Hit Terry McLaurin in stride. Uh, right in the bread basket. Perfect, bro. Only one of those ones can make that, bro. That's exactly what Jaden Daniels is. He's one of those ones. So this is going to be one hell of a quarterback matchup. I think the running game for both teams has been great as well, but it just feel like these two quarters might have to step up and be the guys that you want them to be to win this ball game. I think when you shoot out, I mean, even Wild Wild West, old fashioned shootout, a bunch of points being scored. I fall a little bit less less um, high scoring going to the game. When I start to think about it and how how inconsistent both of these defenses have been, especially the more disappointing one has been the Ravens. Um, they can't guard a number of receiver to save their darn life. And as for us, when we play the offense and know how to score points, we have struggled. Um, i.e. the uh, Cincinnati Bengals and also the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, so hopefully we can bring our A game Sunday on both sides of the ball. But back to this quarterback thing, I think both these guys are going to have over 400 yards of scrimmage. Um, we're going to see a bunch of running from these guys on third down, the clutch situations, a bunch of throwing down the field. I think, I think both there with no more receivers. We might have 100 yards apiece in Zay Flowers and Terry McLaurin. And this is going to be one hell of a ball game. I can't wait. This is going to be one, one to one to watch. It's been the best one o'clock game for sure. And it's going to probably be the game of the week. I want all said and done. So I'm going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe to the PSN Commands Network. Also, subscribe to your Life and Tone channel for all your reactions to loyalty test videos. And also, subscribe to the Live Fashion Channel for all your ministry wear tips, how to shop on a budget, and how to uh, make fashion your own. So, next time, have a great one. Comment your thoughts on this video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Go, Commanders. Hail to our Washington commander, and let's raise hail in MT Bank Stadium tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we face the dummies, the Avenue, and the Baltimore Ravens. Should be fun. The Avenue versus Beat Your Feet. Hey, we got that bird flu versus Beat Your Feet. Like I said, it's Mumbo Sauce versus Obey. What you take? You taking the Mumbo Sauce or the Obey, cuz? You taking the moles or the dummies, cuz? Let me know, man. I'm going with the moles, cuz. I know I got to go with the moles, cuz. Take command, man. Raise hell, man. Ops ain't being us, man. Let's get it, man.